very early in my career, I was fortunate to be trained in a place that did this tissue transplantation way before most places. We used it wide scale on all our patients in the late 80s. Now when we first started doing it, we were terrified. I mean, we, we take these pieces of tissue, completely disconnect them, disconnect the blood vessels and put them up in the mouth of the face and just hope they would live. And the truth is, most of them did. I mean, our survival rate was actually even out of the gate, was really high. But we didn't do anything to these transplants. In other words, we just put them in. It was like lying a newborn baby to bed. You wouldn't fold them, you wouldn't twist them, you wouldn't suture them, you wouldn't shape them. You had to be super careful. And then as time went on, I'd had a background. I'd, I ran a construction company. I, I did a lot of carpentry. I built my, my own furniture. And um, I thought, you know, we could do more with this stuff than just laying it to bed, than just laying it in flat and hoping it would live. So I started making little patterns. And as I got to the end of my residency and into my fellowship, I started making patterns. I started looking at different ways you could put this in to actually try to remake parts of the face and try to remake particularly parts of the mouth. There was so much in head and neck, I believe, when, you know, when I trained that was just wrong. I mean, it just in terms of, well, the patients do badly. Um, the patients are going to have a lot of problems. The patients aren't going to eat well. The patients aren't going to speak well. So just, just if they live, that's good enough. And I just never really bought into that. And I was really fortunate enough to have a succession of teachers who were uncompromising as well. I started to figure out if you really look for pathways of spread, if you really look at how the cancer lives in the tissues, if you really think about where it's going to go and you really understand your anatomy well, and you do a real good cutout, I think the patients do much better.